Hello, and thanks for joining me. Well, if you got a mill and you want to drill and tap, you probably have experienced the same problem that I have. And that is having to drop the knee on the mill, or if you've got a square column mill, raise the head on the mill high enough or, or drop the knee far enough to accommodate the chuck. Now, let me show you. I want to fit this chuck in there. This is a little longer than average, I guess, but I got to drop that knee. I mean, a bunch to get that in there. Okay, now I've got the chuck in there, and I want to put my number seven drill for a quarter twenty hole in there, and I got to drop it more. And then at some point, I've got to raise it back up. And sometimes, depending on the drill size you got, you can find a collet that fits it. But most often, the drill size you need, the collet won't work on. At least my collets won't. ER collets work a little better for a variety of sizes. The sizes overlap. But if you've got R8 or Brown and Sharp number 9 like I got, the sizes don't overlap. So, I've got a solution. At least I hope I do. Let me show you what I got here. I have splurged and bought, bought a bunch of stuff uh, from China. I'll put the links down below. These are really, really cheap. Unbelievably cheap. I think I paid three or four dollars a piece for these. These are ER16 collet holders with a, I believe, 10 millimeter shank. And what I'm doing is I'm mounting specific drills for each tap size I have. That one there is uh, 3 8 16. And ER collets overlap in size. Even though these are metric, uh, I will find a collet that fits for each size. I don't know if I've got enough collets to do what I need here or not. I think I'm going to run up a little short. But... Also, because I'm in the U.S., we've got a retarded fractional system. These are 10 millimeter, and I'm going to have to turn them down to 3 8 so they'll fit my collets. Uh, but that shouldn't be any problem. And I'm going to shorten them, too. But that will make it so that I can put a drill in a 3 8 collet on my mill without having to drop the knee or not having to drop it very far. So, I've got three sizes set up so far. And I'll have to take all this apart and turn these shanks down, but I want to see if I've got a, enough collets to do all the drill sizes I want to do here. This next one will be... Uh, wait a minute. Keep all this straight here. I'll probably have to buy another collet. Maybe one. These collets shrink down quite a bit. Like that's a lot of play in there. I don't think that's going to clamp, but we'll find out. I don't remember what the size range or uh, amount of overlap is. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. You may have noticed too, I bought stubby drills. Most of the time you don't need to drill a hole super, super deep. And that will allow me to hopefully drill without uh, a center drill.
Good deal. Okay, I had a phone call and I forgot to turn my mic back on. But I, I just drilled that collet out. What I did is I tightened it all the way down and drilled it out. And uh, didn't drill it out to the full size. I drilled it just slightly over what it was and it worked great. Just enlarged the collet size. What I had was uh, two that were very close. Well, there I've got all my common common sizes, 632, 832, 1024, 1032, quarter 20, 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths, and, and half inch. So now, as I mentioned before, I've got to turn these shanks down to, uh, to fit a 3 eighths collet. It's 10 millimeter, and I'm also going to cut them off. I'll cut them off first. I don't want them they got to be shorter to fit in my collet. The drawbar hits them. But I don't want them too short because it won't grab as well. I mean, it's good to have a lot of stock in your collet. But I guess I'll cut it cut about two inches off. Yeah, I'll cut about two inches off. I think that's a little slower than normal for 3 8 or 10 millimeter. Probably semi hard, but that's okay. Hmm, looks like fairly hard stuff. Hopefully that doesn't deflect too much to cut. I think I need to change that insert. I may have to drill holes in the end and put a center in there. Okay, after doing several, I've got this down fairly good. I need to make one more pass on that. Got a live center on there, which is more forgiving as far as heat buildup, but it deflects a little bit. Okay, I'm cutting a taper uh, larger on on the tailstock end, so I'm going to move it closer to the tool here. It's kind of confusing here. Uh,
377, 376, 375. Well, I had a little trouble keeping the size consistent, but it's within a couple of thousandths, well within the range of the collet to accommodate. I think it'll work just fine. It's, it's fairly hard steel and it requires a lot of tool pressure and things were deflecting a little bit. Well, there they are. Pleased with the way they turned out. That'll work in the drill press or the mill. That should be handy. They're all between 66 and 72% threads, I believe. Which should help a little bit. Most of your tapping charts are 75%. Uh, had a little trouble turning the shanks down to 3 eighths. They were 10 millimeter to begin with. If you're in a country where they use an appropriate measuring system, you won't have to worry about that. Or if you have a 10 millimeter collet, that's probably the preferred way to go if you got inch. But I've got brown and sharp number nine collets and I can't find them in metric. Anyway, let's give this a try. Okay, right there I still had to drop the knee, but when you compare to putting that chuck in, plus the drill length, it's, it's minimal. Yeah, I'd call that a success. Okay, good thread. Well, yeah, that about wraps it up for today. I'll put a link to the thread chart 
that I went by shows uh, what size drills create what uh, percentage threads. The machinist handbook says there's no considerable loss until you get below about 60%. Most of these are between 66 and 70. Thread charts like this generally are about 75% thread. I'll put a link to the collets and the collet holders. And hopefully if you've got a, a metric collet, you won't have to turn down the shanks. That was probably the hardest part about the whole thing. They did turn down okay, it's just took a lot of pressure and it was kind of hard to get them the right size. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.